you can't heal in the same environment that made you sick. I came across this quote today and it made me think, is there any truth to this? Let's take this analogy. You're living with a roommate, they have a viral infection. In time, you end up getting the same infection. Let's say you have a friend and that friend is going abroad on holiday for two weeks. So they say, hey, you can come over and stay at my place for the two weeks. So you do that and you go live in this other clean, fresh environment. And over the two weeks, your infection goes away because you had the clean space that you were not in before. And then guess what happens? Your friend comes back from holiday. So you have to move into your original accommodation which is with this roommate who has the infection what do you think will happen well you probably will be reinfected now some might argue that your immune system becomes stronger this could translate into saying if you stay in an environment that is causing you any sort of harm whether that's physical emotional psychological some may argue actually you're becoming stronger because you're able to withstand that environment you're building your resistance and your resilience really it's not exactly true because it depends on the type of abuse that you are experiencing. I think not only is it dependent on the situation, but the individual. You can't really heal in the same environment that made you sick. I think to really understand this blanket statement, we would need to define what environment actually means. Environment can range, so it can mean living with a family who doesn't respect your boundaries or being in a relationship that's disrespectful and emotionally distressing, whether that's romantic or a friendship. It can also mean a toxic work environment. So it's really situationally dependent, in my opinion. Although it can probably be a lot more difficult, I think it is possible. It might take longer. It might be very triggering to be around people that are abusive in one form or the other. It made me start thinking about my own experiences. I remember when I was living in an environment that was, let's just say, difficult. It was mentally and emotionally draining. Leaving the situation felt like a task that I couldn't accomplish. It felt very overwhelming and it was the unknown of what if this happened, what if that happened in my overactive imagination. What happens if I lose my job and then I can't pay rent and blah blah blah. And with the whole COVID situation, you just don't know what's going to happen. Leaving the situation felt like a scary task. I convinced myself that I was actually okay. I had my basic needs met. I had a shelter, I had food, I had water. And I thought, well, it could be a lot worse. At least I have this. And so that was my brain trying to convince me, actually, your situation isn't that bad. Even though at times I felt unsafe, unsettled mentally, because I was so drained from like external things in my environment that I didn't have control over. After months of consideration, I decided to take the leap and leave. I moved out. Speaking from experience, in hindsight, that was the best thing that I could have done for myself. I removed myself from a very toxic environment. I didn't know what real peace was until I left because the hectic day-to-day -day living situation became the norm because that's what I was used to. So going back to the statement, can you heal yourself in the same environment that you became sick? It's not as simple as to say yes and simple as to say no because it just depends on the situation. It depends on how distressing the situation is for you. It depends on are you able to remove yourself? Can you afford to move out of your living situation if that's what it is? Are you able to leave a relationship if it's causing you more distress than happiness? Are you able to leave and make peace with people who do not respect you? Don't respect your boundaries that don't acknowledge that you are hurting if that is the case. I think at the end of the day, the only person that knows how you feel and what you experience truly is yourself. So if you clicked on this video because you needed some clarity, what I would say to you is to really sit down and get some time to yourself and think about all the reasons why you don't want to be in the situation that you are. Write down all the reasons that you don't want to be in the situation that you're in. And then write down possible alternative steps that you could take. And if you're not sure if this is right for you, then think of it this way. How bad does it need to get for you?
Now maybe your situation isn't that toxic. Maybe it's not that distressing and it's something that you are able to manage and you think actually it's better for me to remain where I am because say the rent's cheaper, it would be a hassle to get all my things arranged and packed and moved out. There will be a point where you will know exactly what you need to do because everyone has a limit and once your limit is reached you start to realize it might hit you like a ton of bricks but you will realize that actually you deserve peace no matter what situation you're in you have the power to decide how you want to react the conclusion that i came to was ultimately if it's costing you your peace of mind then it's not worth it what do you guys think do you think you can heal in the same environment that made you sick what are your thoughts